be for you boys this and is girls. The story of the entire night has literally just been Captain Falcon all over this bracket. And then Hero's also been um, a weekly staple. Uh, we've had Sola. I know you haven't been around for these a lot, but Sola's been a really good hero main. And coming through here, I think got second, uh, maybe one DNA. I don't know. But either way, he's been frequenting top eights. And oh, oh my oh. god, that was fantastic read. Yeah, oh. yeah. So this is where Troy is gonna have to be cautious because it's very evident that Gatsby is really aggressive, and a lot of Falcon players are. And that's how you gotta play the character, You're like fearless. And, and just aggressive. But the thing that I've noticed from Troya in past sets is Troya will take their, will take their time figuring out their spells and stuff, but I don't think that Gatsby's really going to give him a chance. No. Definitely not. He he had a little bit more of a chance when you're playing a patient Palutena like he did the last time that we saw Troya on the stream, I believe. This time around, that's not the case. Captain Falcon is the second fastest character in the entire game. Second only to Sonic, which is, you know, understandable. Oh! Ooh. God, beautiful call out with the down B right there. Able to get that giant hitbox out there, even with the invincibility as well. You know, knew, knew the positioning that Troy was going to be in. Had no real choice but to go... I mean, he had a choice to go higher there, but it's hard. You know what I mean? Like... Troyo could have chose to go high there and potentially avoid, like, that down B, that Falcon kick situation right there. Mm -hmm. But it's not, like, something he could have really reacted to and then change his mind and decide to go high because the move is just too fast and he wouldn't have had enough time to up E to get out of that position. Gatsby knows that, so I think he just waited for him to sort of, like... I think he just waited for him to start going down before he uh, decided to go for the down B and the Falcon kick. It's a beautiful oh dog. Oh my god. Oh, he landed it though. Yeah, he did. He knew he where got... he was going to be. Oh, he, oh! Did it, he did it. He did it. He did it. The mad man. Oh. Oh my god. Dude. Hell no. Well, let me tell you something. There, there is there is nothing worse than when you get a cat like a confident falcon playing and they just start doing things and that's one of them. Like this is where this is where the set started, right there. Yeah. And then this is this is where it, oh god. This is where game one ends. Yep. God. I was off a jab lock. That was actually. He just really read the nasty. roll. Just jumped right over. <laughs> Punched him. That's it. Punched that him. looks pretty cool. You're a cool person, Gatsby. All You're right, a cool all right. one. Oh, let's take it Ugh. easy. I gotta say, not even giving me the chance to talk about these situations where, you know, like, he can't even... He's not even giving Troya the opportunity, like, to choose whether he wants to go high or go low off the level. When you're doing stuff like that, man, all logic is gone. Everything is, like, ceased to exist. You know, we remember that classic Game Boy game that Captain Falcon debuted in, as the Great Gonzalez let us know about before. Everybody remembers F-Zero on the Game Boy Color. Everyone remembers that game. God. Was there actually an F-Zero on the Game Boy Color? No. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> no. Gons, Gons was just being, he was just being a, he was just being a dunce. Yeah. Yeah. As he does. As he is one to do. Yeah. But there you go. That's game one going to uh, Gatsby right there. If there's anything, like you mentioned earlier, you know, like he's not even going to have the opportunity to be able to play in any semblance of passive way. Like he's not going to be able to read his menus at all. Captain Falcon is the second fastest character in the game. Throughout every single Smash game, he has been known to get humongous punishes off of whip punishes from his opponent. And Hero doesn't have the best frame data, my friend. So what is Hero going to do? It's, it's like Hero's out here swinging in the meat against Captain Falcon, bro. Like, that's not going to work. This character can just dash in and out and then completely destroy his hopes and dreams, which he almost had the opportunity to do again right there. Gatsby missed it that time, but that probably would have been the stock had he landed it. Yeah, he's Troy very good. It looks like he's very good at sneaking in, like, and that you kind of have to be a Captain Falcon, like, kind of sneaking in those very fast offstage things. Sometimes it's a knee, sometimes it's a dare. Um, either way, it it is like probably the quickest momentum shifter in the game. Here it comes again. You yes, know how like that. yeah, that too, man. Like you yeah. know how what was the uh, oh my god, Got now he's gonna take the stock there and the kaboom. Good stuff. It's like you know how um. You know how in like, uh, what was that movie with Adam Sandler? <laughs> like, the, like the one where he becomes a golden retriever or something. 
Yeah, falls in love with the, the actual. Oh, oh, good mash. Really good mash to get out of that. He had to have rotated the stick. Detroit is pissed. Yeah, definitely. He should be. Yeah, I, that's understandably so. I mean, every time that like uh, every time that Troyer respawns and when he gets the chance, he just he's looking for the. There, there you go. He already he already beat me to it. I was gonna say every single time that he gets the chance to use down B, which as a hero you know is obviously what you're looking for when you play this character. He immediately goes for accelerate whenever it's out there because he knows that getting that mobility in is gonna be really like a big make or break against Captain Falcon. That's a huge buff that a character like Hero, who doesn't have the best of frame data, needs against a character as quick and as whiff punishy as they say as Captain Falcon. And speak of the devil, it's an up air to a knee right there in terms of whiff punishes, oh but the whack! Oh god. Oh no! Somewhere in a... somewhere in a oh, little apartment. <gasps> yeah, dude, the offstage gets you right now. I was gonna say... Pretty intense, brother. Somewhere in a little apartment in Brooklyn, Glentendo is crying at the whack RNG. And somewhere on a stream in New York City, Nick is out there just nodding for... He doesn't he's, know why. He's somewhere in chat nodding right now. Oh, he's in chat yeah, nodding dude. right now. Supporting the boys. Oh my goodness. Well, there you go. I was going to say, like, if Nixie isn't here watching this, he felt that in the force. And there is... Ugh. Yeah, that's, There's that's, another good punish right there. I'll bear me, a classic. I, I love just showing those, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just show, like, the, what is that? Oh, God. It's so <sighs> anti-Smash. I mean, it's not. It's, it's, it's like pro-Smash. It's pro-Smash for what Smash was designed to be initially. <laughs> but, you know, you know what I mean. Wild stuff coming out from these two players right now. Gatsby with these punishes clean, like, up 2-0 right now against Troya. Electing to go to town and city this time around. This is risky. This is really, really risky, Chris. Town and city has some pretty low... has some pretty low horizontal blast zones. It's got some big vertical ones. Falcon is a little more partial to killing off the sides and off the bottom. Specifically, you know, like with knees and with back airs for the side and, you know, down airs and up tilts to get him off from the bottom. Captain Falcon doesn't really normally kill off the top. So I feel like taking yourself to a stage where that's like a big advantage for you right there is that back air takes the stock. Is not the wisest pick for Troya. As well as, you know, Gatsby has all the room in the world to be able to just dash in and out and do stuff like that since Town and City has a lot of good and flat terrain for a character as quick as him to be able to work around. I don't know if it's the terrain that, like, it's got to be the terrain or something that Troy decided to go to this pick for because in terms of its actual, like, last zones and otherwise layout, I don't see why he thinks this pick would really be that much better. Honestly, I think maybe he's just trying to give himself extra space to recover for because so far Gatsby's been pretty much calling every recovery out. Uh, nearly that one, too. Uh, and, oh, my God. Nick, is, is this just you? Gatsby's pretty nuts. Yeah. He just plays, like, totally fearless. That, that That's, like, the fun stuff. I've said it a couple times, but that's really, I feel like, how you play Captain Falcon. You just have to, like, not care. Like, you just kind of go in. You got a lot of quick buttons. You hit all of them. You're making, like, pretty good reads on your opponent's movements. And the thing is, I feel like Troy is not really playing too badly. It's just, I think Gatsby's just playing really well at the moment. Yeah. He's got oomph and psych up, though, but it's not going to matter. He's going to get the stomp knee, a classic something that we've seen through the great history of Super Smash Brothers since the dawn of Melee back in 2001. The counterpick did not work out for him that time. You know what else I realized? He probably wanted to go here just so he could have more room, not even just to breathe, but also just room for him to be able to actually get all of his buffs before Falcon just rushes him down. But at the end of the day, it's Captain Falcon, man. I'm not sure if the stage being that much bigger is going to help that much. Maybe if it was Brawl and Falcon, you know, was basically slow as hell and it wouldn't have mattered that much, maybe. But on this place, no, man. Falcon, if he still gets in the meat with you, which is pretty easy considering how fast he is, it's not going to matter how big that stage is. If you don't get your buffs in on time, you're going to get stomp need, no matter how big or how small the stage. <laughs> That's Captain Falcon, baby. Uh, you, you love to see it. Winning grand finals. With a three, oh, Chris. Yeah, that was a 
a pretty quick throw at that. So quick, in fact, that I don't know if we're going to have another match for a minute because we would have maybe had this, which probably started. Yeah, it did start because it's 1-0. So we'll see, uh, yeah, I believe that is going to be Syrup, who has been playing Lucas all day, although I do see a Ness right here. Um, but has otherwise been playing Lucas all day against Turtle Hands, who is a Sephiroth. So 